Thomas A. Dorsey spent most of his early life sharecropping and traveling with his father, doing itinerant preaching. But Thomas had a huge appreciation for music. There were two major influences in his life. His brother-in-law, a guitar picker that would expose Thomas to a style of music that would later be known as the blues. Secondly, his wife's friend would introduce him to the concept of shape note singing, popular in white churches at that time. So it was the old spirituals, the white Protestant hymns, the shape note style, and the early blues that Thomas would hear and never forget. It wasn't until 1930 at the National Baptist Convention that a woman would sing a Thomas Dorsey composition entitled, If You See My Savior. By the end of the day, the song has sold 4,000 copies. But soon, tragedy would hit. His wife would die giving birth to their first son. And shortly after, the baby would die as well. Broken, tired, and full of tears, angry at God, Dorsey would walk to a piano and sing these words that would change the world. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand. I am tired, I am weak, and I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. Thomas A. Dorsey went on to write over 400 songs in his career. His songs embraced the problems and the triumphs of everyday life. They offered comfort and healing to those who put their trust in the Lord. And on January 23rd, 1993, the Lord would call Thomas A. Dorsey home, but his legacy lives on forever. Let us pay homage to the life and the legacy of Thomas A. Dorsey.